Hi, this is John again, the owner and developer of Vectordex. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the powerful edit capabilities you'll have with the Vectordex step. To access those, you need to go to the Steps Object Information Palette. Let's go ahead and click on your step. And in the Object Information Palette, you're not going to see a whole lot of parameters that you have edit capabilities to. They're all tucked right in this one button, the Step Specifications. So let's go ahead and click on that. This window will pop up. And inside the window, you'll see other options that are available to you. And that changes what appears in this one panel. The first, uh, Step Type Info. And then you have Step Rails Info and landing rails info. These last two, if you notice, they're all grayed out. You don't have any edit capabilities in these two right now. And that's because that use deck info button is checked. And most of the time, this will be the case. Uh, whatever rails you have on the deck or whatever finishes you have on the deck, you want to pass down to the steps and the landing. And you won't be making any independent changes. But you do have that capability. If you check that box off, then these edit information comes up. These are all basically the same exact type edit capabilities that are located in Vectordex frame tool. And that's probably where you want to work with it. So it'll pass that information down. But in this tutorial, we're going to discuss primarily the step type info. And in that window, you'll see you have another set of options, and the step type, the step specs, and lattice. Let's start with that step type. On the left here, you'll have a top view of the current step type you have in your document. It'll also show you what selection you have with these options on the right. Uh, changes you make over here will be reflected in here. At the bottom, I do have a text size edit capability. In some small steps or some large steps, the actual text are difficult to read. So you can control the actual text size in this window. Now, over here on the right is where you have the edit capabilities to change the type of step. Uh, first of all, you'll see that Use Deck Info button checked up top and 99% and of the time you'll always be taking basic information off the Sundeck frame but you still have this edit capability of the actual appearance and the type of step. When you make any dimension change in a lot of my menus I have this apply dimension change button so that'll only affect this particular deck height. If you turn that off for example, I can change the actual height of the step here independent from the deck. But in most cases you always want to keep it tied in with that deck frame height. Now the next little panel below gives you choices on different step types. The first option is always by default it would be your step to grade. Pretty much as it appears here, you're stepping off the deck to grade. The second option is step to deck. Now that appears that it would be the same. But what happens here is when you have this selected, the bottom two posts on that step will not be drawn. It's calculated to hit and land at a location on the deck where you'll tie into the existing deck rails. And then in that next button we have step to landing. Once you click on that, you'll see things change here because you'll now have access to the landing type. Uh, when I did step to grade, those were grayed out. But once you get to step to landing, uh, these particular panels become active so you can change and edit them. And then you have a button here, flare to bottom. I'm going to go step to grade again. And then once you click on flare bottom, it's going to flare the bottom two steps only out on a 45 degree angle. I'll show you what this looks like. I'll go ahead and apply this to the deck and the drawing. And you see how it automatically did all the calculations. And let me tell you, there's a ton of them. To draw the deck with the trim and decking and, and the rails with that little flared bottom appearance. You'll also have control over which side gets rails. By default, 
it'll show both sides, but you can turn off one side or the other, or even both. I'll show you. Um, let's go back into that step specifications. And over at the bottom here in this window, you'll see you could turn off the rail on the left or the rail on the right. I'm going to leave that right rail off and we'll go back into the document. You'll see that'll be turned off. While we're in this document, let's go ahead and change the deck elevation, which will add more risers to that step. Go ahead and select the deck frame. It's always good to make this elevation change with Vector Deck's frame tool. That way it passes that elevation to the beams and the posts, and they do get affected by that. So let's change this deck height to 80 inches. And you'll see it'll add the necessary risers, and it automatically extends that post. A thing to note here, too, is the flare option only takes in the bottom two steps. So the flare begins at that second step up. And then it requires three additional steps to the deck in order to put enough rail on the side here for the transition to work properly. So if you ever lower your deck to a point where you're not going to have enough steps and rises for that flare, it'll drop it automatically. I'll show you here. I'm going to lower this, let's say, to 32 inches. Now it's going to adjust everything, but it dropped that flare because it's just not enough steps to produce that flare and have enough, basically to have enough rail in this little transition period here. And also in the step specifications, you'll see that because the deck elevation is only 32 inches, it's only producing these four steps, which is not enough to produce that flare. So these particular options will be grayed out you won't have access to them because Vectordex knows there's not enough elevation to utilize these tools. Now if I, um, I'm going to turn Use Deck Info off here so we can raise it within this panel. Let's raise it back up to that 60 inches we had before and hit that apply. Now you'll see we can utilize that flare again and these particular controls are now accessible because there's enough rise and there's enough run to utilize these options. Now in our next tutorial, we'll get into the step to deck and a step to landing. The step to landing is a very powerful option that you'll have. We will have a whole slew of different type of transitions here. But we'll get into that in our next tutorial.